over 500 years of public safety experience. How many do you have? How many doors have you kicked down? How many lives have you saved? How many times have you had to extract somebody from a burning building or put your on the line when someone's getting shot at? Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony letting the county commission have it today, but he took plenty of incoming heat from them as well. You'll see that in a moment. It's the latest in a series of intense arguments over what to do about the severe staffing shortage at Broward's 911 call center. If that doesn't seem like a big deal, listen to these two lines in a video recently released by BSO. Because of personnel shortages, we might have a delayed response with answering your call, but we are going to answer the call. We may not answer right away, but we do the best that we can to answer the call. A delayed response is frustrating when you're on hold with somebody's customer service. When 911 needs you to wait, it could be dangerous or deadly. Yeah, just take a look at this fire in Hollywood back in April. After 15 minutes and no answer from 911, a neighbor drove to the nearest fire station to ask for help. As you can see, it was too late. CBS 4's Joe Waldman has reported on that fire and the 911 problems and has tonight's update. Joel? Elliot and Lauren, after that raucous commission meeting, we asked the mayor about that Hollywood fire, and he tells us it's still very much on his mind. It was a Hollywood blaze that's still emblazoned on the mind of Broward County yes. Mayor Michael Udine more than a month later. No one wants to see this. This fire destroying a 75-year-old woman's home. That was bad enough. But it was the 911 response time that was even more disturbing. Yes, I'm concerned about that. I'm always concerned about that. Concerned that no 911 dispatcher ever answered the call, triggering a fiery exchange between county commissioners and Sheriff Tony over who's to blame. How many people do you need to tell you that you have problems with your management? You could sit there and say you like your management, like it, like it, like it, like it, and you could tell me you're, you think they're the best, but how many of All your right, Commissioner, you gave me 15 questions. Do you want me to start answering them no, now? No, I'm going to wait until what I'm done, done okay. and then you're going to be respectful. County leaders clearly feeling the emergency over Broward's 911 call center down 86 dispatchers with pay and morale both on the low end. Blame still on the high end. The sheriff refusing to relinquish control over 911 as Commissioner Mark Bogan suggested it should be run by an outside organization with more experience. Same every year. This is the most important thing for our public is to answer a phone effectively on time and their staff can't do it because they're understaffed and underpaid. You come up with this narrative that we, we don't have professional experience. The audacity for you to say that where my command staff over, have over 500 years of public safety experience. How many do you have? How many doors have you kicked down? How many lives have you saved? How many times have you had to extract somebody from a burning building or put your on the line when someone's getting shot at. Commissioners finally agreeing to implement a $4.7 million stopgap measure to BSO for 911 personnel for raises, retention, and recruitment. And the vote on that stopgap measure is expected to play, take place in two weeks. The mayor says he's absolutely confident that it will pass. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Joe Waldman, CBS 4 News Tonight.